we have discussed resonating structure contributors, right? So here we are going to discuss the relative stability of resonating structure and how do we define the relative stability of RS. So for that we have certain set of rules and that we are going to discuss. Okay? So rule one is the structure having structure having more pi bonds more pi bonds is more stable. The first thing is, we will just calculate the number of pi bonds. The structure which has more number of pi bonds is more stable. Okay, Why is it so? Because the formation of bond is always an exothermic process. Formation of bond is exothermic in nature and hence more number of bonds, more energy releases and more will be the stability. Okay, so you see some quite some like you know examples I write down here. CH three this is structure you see this is A and this is B if you calculate the number of pi bonds number of pi bonds is more in A and the stability of A is more than to that of B number of pi bonds in A is 2 but that of in B is 1 so stability of A is more than to that of B ok this is A and this is B here the number of pi bonds is more, the stability of A is less than that of B. Okay, so like this we just calculate, just we count the number of pi bonds and then according to that we will check the stability. Okay, so the next rule is what happens if in some of the molecule we have equal number of pi bonds. Okay, then what happens? For that we have rule 2. Rule 2. If the structure has equal pi bonds, then stability. decreases with charge separation equal number of pi bonds then stability decreases with charge separation ok now you see some examples on this ok then you see this is A, this is B, ok, so number of pi bonds here is 3, here is also 3, ok, but here we have more charge separation, so stability will be less, ok, so A is more stable than B, similarly equal pi bonds, more charge separation, A will be more stable than B, Right? Equal pi bonds, more charge separation, A is more stable than B. Okay? So like this we can uh, do, we can you know find out the priority or the order of stability of this resonating structure. Okay. So these are the two rules we have discussed. The third rule is what? What happens if the molecule has equal pi bonds and equal charge separation? Rule 3. If the molecule has equal pi bonds and
equal pi bonds and charge separation. Okay, so in this case, what happens? The molecule having or ion, molecular ion having or ion having more atom with complete octet. is more stable. The molecule or ion having more number of atoms atoms with complete octet is more stable. For example you see having complete octet. Boron has 6 electron here, here it has 8 electrons, complete octet. Okay? And it's 2 bs 2 You can do this with the help of number of pi bonds also. This one is more stable because it has one pi bonds. Okay? So if it is A, this is B. So obviously, B is more stable than A. Okay? With pi bonds also you can do, or the help of octet rule also. Boron has something like that. Okay, here you see this carbon won't have the complete octet here, but here it has the complete octet. So stability of this B is more than to that of A. These are the three rules we have discussed according to the number of pi bonds, according to the charge separation, and then the number of atoms having complete octet. Okay. Now what is rule 4? If rule 1, 2 and 3, if rule 1, 2 and 3 are fails, if 1, 2 and 3, rule 1, 2 and 3 fails, then Then what we can say that the negative charge on more electronegative atom is more stable and positive charge positive charge on less electronegative atom is more stable. Okay? Few examples I'll write down here. Now you can pause the video and uh, solve this question. I am explaining it now. First question you see. We have equal pi bonds and same charge separation. 1 pi, 1 pi, negative charge, negative charge. Okay? An octet is also complete for all the atoms if you see. Okay. So you see we use rule 4 here which says negative charge on more electronegative atom is more stable. So oxygen and carbon will have negative charge. Oxygen is more electronegative. So B is more stable than A. Okay. Oxygen having negative charge. So B 
is more stable than A. Right? Here we have negative charge on nitrogen and carbon. This is A, B, and C. I am assuming. Okay. So first of all, the two electronegative atoms, the most, the top two electronegative atom here we have oxygen first, then nitrogen, and then carbon. Right? So which one is more electronegative? Oxygen. Right? So the negative charge on Oxygen and nitrogen is more stable. B is the maximum. Then negative charge on nitrogen and carbon we have, oxygen and carbon we have. So oxygen is more stable. Then we have C and then it is A. Okay. Here you see negative charge on oxygen is more stable. B, A, B is more stable. Right? Like this, we can find out the stability order of resonating structure. Rule 5 is positive charge is more stable when it is surrounded by more alkyl group and that is because of plus i okay and negative charge is more stable more stable when it is Surrounded by lesser number of alkyl group. Okay. Okay. So here you see this carbocation is tertiary and this is primary. So this one is more stable. This carbocation is secondary. Primary, secondary is more stable. This carbon ion is secondary. This carbon ion is tertiary. Right? So which one is more stable? Secondary is more stable. Okay? So like this we can compare the stability again. Now rule 7, rule 6, sorry. Rule 6 is price rule. What is price rule? Molecule containing more number of benzenoid form is more stable. Benzenoid form is more stable. For example, now these two structures you compare. Number of benzenoid form means what? If you see this ring, it is a benzene ring. Right? And this pi bond we can count into this ring also. So this is also a benzene ring. Right? So we have two benzenoid form here. Here you see we have only one benzene ring. This is not a benzene ring, right? Because the pi bond is here. So it has only one benzenoid form. More number of benzenoid form, more stable. This is more stable than this. This compound we call it as naphthalene. Now the number of benzenoid form here it is 2. These two. Number of benzenoid form here it is only 1. So obviously, 2 is more stable than the first one. Sorry, this one is more stable than this. Okay, now rule 7. Rule 7. 
which is aromaticity. Aromaticity, right? When the compound is aromatic, it is the most stable compound. Okay, the aromaticity provides extra stability to the compound. Okay, so what we can write aromatic compounds are most stable. We'll discuss this aromaticity in uh, this resonance session only. Okay, in the coming classes we'll discuss this aromaticity. But one thing just you remember now, aromatic compounds are cyclic planar conjugated system conjugated system with 4n plus 2 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n is any natural number 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on ok cyclic planar conjugated system with 4n plus 2 pi electrons ok for example you see this molecule right And if you draw the molecule here, with lone pair, okay, or we can also draw this. If it is A, this is B and this is C. Right. One more thing I'll tell you here. There are two more uh, compounds we have. The stability of aromaticity is maximum. Then we have non-aromatic compound. And in the last we have anti-aromatic compound. Anti-aromatic compounds. Okay. So stability order is this. Non-aromatic compounds, if it is non-planar, or we have other condition also. We'll discuss all these things in detail in aromatic aromaticity when we discuss this separately. Okay. Order is this. Anti-aromatic compounds, all conditions are same, but it only has 4n pi electron. The only difference is it has 4n pi electrons. Okay, it is cyclic planar conjugated system with 4n pi electrons. Okay, that is anti-aromaticity. Now, if you see this compound here, how many pi electrons it has? One lone pair, two, four. It has six pi electrons. Right. So for n is equals to 1, it satisfies this rule, right? This rule, we call it as Huckel's rule for aromaticity. Huckel's rule for aromaticity. So compound B is aromatic, right? Compound C it has four, 2 plus 2, 4 pi electrons, right? So it is anti-aromatic. And this compound is non-aromatic. Okay, so order of stability will be what? First, aromatic, then non-aromatic, and then anti-aromatic. That should be B, most stable, then A, and then C, least stable. Okay, so with this resonance also, there are chances of 
getting aromaticity the compounds may become aromatic compounds okay according to the you know the structure of the compound you have and the number of pi electrons it has so with aromaticity also the stability changes aromatic compounds actually are highly stable it provides extra stability to the compounds okay non aromatic compounds are the normal compounds like at the room temperature right anti aromatic is highly unstable right so these are the seven rules we have discussed to assign stability of resonating structure on the basis of this you can easily say that which one is major contributors and which one is minor contributors major contributors are those molecules or ions which has more stability right so if you compare these two right if you compare this molecule the actual hybrid molecule of this right will have the maximum property of the most stable compound which is nothing but the aromaticity okay this b so this molecule will provide maximum property to the hybrid structure of this resonating structure okay in this two if you compare both gives you a hybrid structure a resonant a resonance hybrid in which these two will provide property like we contributes into the property of the resonating structure but since the second one is more stable it it is major contributors this one is minor contributor okay so this is what the discussion of contributing uh, like the contributors we have this relative stability of contributors or resonating structure